Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, today, I want to show you how to connect your Kobo toolbox with your Power BI. Um, it's a very easy um, thing to do. Let's just stay calm and we go inside and begin to do um, that immediately. Right now, I am on the Kobo toolbox website and it's asking me to log in. Um, please, if you have not watched our video for beginners, just go down and click the link um, for beginners, Kobo toolbox for beginners. So here we just click on login and when we click on login we wait for it to right now we are in the site and here I have seven deployed projects I have two um, draft so these are my projects so I want us to connect this with um, Power BI so I'll just click here and it brings us here so right here um, you see the name of my project introducing um, integrated um, re regenerative urban agriculture etc so we have five submissions this is a project that is ongoing and they're giving in submissions so right here i want us to connect it to power bi so what we we'll do first of all we want to get the api of this project so the first thing we do is we go to setting and when we go to setting here we click sharing when we click sharing um, it brings us here this is going to pop up and you make sure that anyone can review this from this is clicked anyone can review submissions made to this from this is clicked when all these are clicked all you need to do again now is to go to data and when you go to data here all you need to do is click downloads And when you click on downloads, um, what you have to do is you come here, get this advanced option, you click on your advanced option and go down here. What I want you to do here is go here and you click here and you select separated columns, separate columns. When you choose separate columns, you come here and you choose include media URLs, okay? And then you choose save selection as, we want to give it a name. Most often we have a default name dashboard. This name is recommended because it's very unique. We can also come down here and we also write dashboard. So when we do this, all we need to do is go up here and we lower our, sorry, I'm trying to make this really visible. Okay, we have our dashboard here. I also want us to have dashboard here. And when we have this here, um, we lower this okay. Okay, it's fine. And then we come here and we write export. We click export. When we click export, it brings us here and we have this option down here. You see, we have these options down here. Okay, once we have these options down here, all we need to do is to come up here and then we select this URL. We select from here, come right here and then we delete and then what you need to do here is you write api slash v2 okay and when you write this you copy the link and you go control c and then you go to a different space on your browser and then you paste it there and you click enter and when we click enter we paste it and click enter this is what we get okay and we come here and this first link here without wasting your time we are going to click on it from that api routes it brings us to this asset list you see here we have the assets list so i want to show you something here in this asset list we have all the apis of all the projects that i've created in my kobo toolbox okay these are all of them here but it's difficult for us to just search with our eyes and see that's why we use Remember previously we had to create this name here in our Kobo toolbox. So we are going to use this name dashboard now to look for the API of that particular project. So all we need to do is to click Control F and we have this small dialog box that pops up here and then we, we write dashboard. Sorry, dash. And when we begin to write dashboard, you see it already appears here this is it it goes and picks it out because this is the name we gave it to the kobo toolbox okay and when we come here without wasting so much of your time we are going to select this um csv file we are going to select it just copy it 
excluding the quotations excluding all the quotations don't copy the quotations great and then once you have selected all you need to right click and then you copy great and then you come to power bi you open your power bi this is our power bi so we are looking for the option that says get data so we come here and it says get data from web okay because we are taking this link from the web we are we are we are still we have to, we are still clicked on that api so we click on this option and here now we are going to copy v cv control v sorry you see we have now copied the url that we copied from our api from kobo toolbox and then we click ok and then we give it some time now you see it's taking some time to load the data inside our power bi Power BI is amazing. It takes time to really reload. It takes time to search the data. You see, right here we have the data. This is the data. Remember that we had five submissions. These are the submissions. One, two, three, four, five. And with Power BI here, we can decide to transform the data. We can decide to load the data. But right now, um, if I want to analyze this data in Power BI, I will prefer to first of all transform the data. So I'll load it. So if you come here, you see, that's the name of the data if we click here you see these are the few columns that i chose in our power bi query okay thank you so much for watching um this is all we had for connecting um kobo toolbox with um power bi um keep following us and keep watching and um, we are looking forward to dropping other videos that concerns um power bi please if you have not watched our video on power bi for beginners please click down below and take a look Thank you very much, Stabler.